clear. Cylinder head temperature. Cylinder head temperature. Cylinder head temperature. Cylinder. Look at Tokyo. That's getting pretty close to flying his velocity, so he's out doing a lot of engine running. I think sounds like a NASCAR when he runs it. Got a big LS3 Corvette engine in it. Pretty cool. I think it's going to be pretty bumpy today. I flew yesterday, and I flew this morning. And this morning it was just perfectly smooth. It was really nice. But look at these clouds rolling in. Thinking it's going to be a little bumpy this evening. I just posted a picture this morning on the on Facebook on the Zenith Flyers group. I just took a picture of my panel and posted it on there. And somebody was asking what my uh, my normal fuel burns and cruise speed and all that kind of stuff is. And I actually don't remember. Now that I switched this over from miles an hour to knots, uh, I don't really pay attention. And a lot of times I just bring the power back and I'm just kind of farting around, so I'm not in any hurry to go anywhere or really care what the cruise speed is. So if it's not too bumpy, that's kind of the plan for this flight. I'm going to answer your question with the video. So I'm going to go up and uh, we'll get some different power settings and we'll see what uh, what I get for cruise speeds. Price traffic, 7 Mike Delta departing runway 27 at Price. All right, I'm going to put in about two seconds of flaps. I want to see how short I can get off the ground here. Right at the end of the runway. All right, I'm going to hold back pressure here. Here we go. Nose is up. And we're off. That's pretty short. And don't forget, guys, this is not even a stole airplane either. Although it certainly could be. You get an airplane like Jonathan Faze, he's got a cruiser with big bush tires, the big Viking engine in it, <laughs> makes an awesome bush plane. I always turn to the left here right after departure just because uh, we're right under Flint's airspace and their airspace starts at 2100 feet and his airplane climbs so well that if I don't turn almost right away, he'll wind up climbing up into their airspace. We're already at 2000 feet. Up here, 697 Mike Mike. On an so we're at 2,060 feet, we're just outside of their airspace, so we just made it. So right now I'm climbing out at 70 knots, I'm getting 800 feet a minute, and down low, like initially, it's like 1,400 feet a minute. I should have uh, looked actually right off the runway, but just looking here, 70 knots, uh, 900 feet, there's 1,000 feet, it's going to vary a little bit with the wind, but... And I've got almost full fuel in here. This airplane weighs 841 pounds empty. I weigh 195. And out of uh, 30 gallons, I probably have 25 gallons in it. So you can calculate the weight. I think what I'll do is level off here at 3,000. I'd like to find a really smooth altitude, but I don't think I'm going to until I get above the clouds. But they look pretty high. So let's level off here at 3,000. And what I'm going to do is bring the power back to 2,500 because that's usually about what I'm cruising at if I'm just, uh, you know, not in a hurry to go anywhere. All right, there's 25. There's 25. It's like between 2,500 and 2,510. That's about as close as you're going to get. So we'll get it trimmed out for cruise here best I can. It is a little bit bumpy out. All right, guys, I'm kind of trying to fly with my left hand and film with my right hand, and it's a little bit bumpy, so I'm kind of climbing and descending a little bit, so this isn't going to be completely accurate. 
about a 2540 RPM right now. I've got 82 knots indicated. True airspeed 87. And a density altitude is at 4,000 feet. All right, so now at 2,700 RPM, I've got 90, about average, it looks like it's bouncing around a little bit. It's about 92 knots at 2,740 RPM. You can kind of see it's a little bumpy out here. I wish it was a little bit smoother. I should have done this earlier today. But my fuel burn, I forgot to look at 2,500. Right now it's at 4.8 gallons an hour. What I'll do is I'll bring this power back to 25, like I had it, and I'll see what the fuel burn is there. Clear traffic, hey, Charlie Delta, turn left, base one way, one eight, clear traffic. All right, 2,500 here, it's 4.4. .4. And there's our 80, we're getting 83 knots indicated. We'll see what she stalls at. Bring the power back. I'm just going to hold altitude here. Let's get full flaps in here. All right, power's all the way back at idle. I got full flaps. There's 36, 35, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29. Twenty-five, right, right at 25, I started to hear the the buffet or the, the aluminum in the back side of the fuselage starts to, to vibrate. You kind of hear that, so. You know, I don't know exactly how perfectly accurate the airspeed indicator is down that low, but that showed 25. Let's try it again here. We're at 31 right now. 28, 26. So there's a buffet at 26. 97. Mike Mike, turning left base. Matrix 697, Mike Mike, turning final. Well, that's enough of that. I think I'll go down to Bright, County, see if my buddy Ryan is out there. County. He's the one that's got a decathlon. Sometimes I'll just fly over and see if his hangar door is open. So let me see if I can do this and hold the camera at the same time. I'll show you how I uh, how this works in a dyno. You know, when the air is smooth, I can trim this out perfectly to fly hands off, but it's kind of bumpy. What I do is I go to direct. And I go to recents, and uh, Brighton is 45 Gulf, so I just scroll down to 45 Gulf, hit direct, and now it uh, it shows it on the screen there. Sorry the camera's bouncing around, but that's just the bumps in the air. And if I turn on, if I go to display and hit map info, uh, did I hit it? Yeah, I did. Oh, I got it. Sorry. Hit buttons left and right. There we go. Now on the left or on the right side here it gives me all the information like distance, the next waypoint, time of arrival, and all that kind of stuff. Love this dyno. It's awesome. If I hit this little button up here on the screen, it kind of makes the whole right side of the screen the map, which I kind of like. It's just a nice bigger display. Got some traffic. 500. There he is. I see him. He's 500 feet above me. Straight off the nose. I'll show you what it looks like on the ADSB here. If you don't have ADSB and you don't know what it looks like, it shows him right there. And now he's because I'm climbing here. It shows him 300 feet above me. You guys can kind of tell a little bit how bumpy it is when I when I hold that camera. It just gets bounced all around like that. Definitely a nice evening for flying, other than the bumps. Nice and clear. So if I go back here to info, hopefully maybe you can see it with that camera. I can go to comp, and then it has the, the comp frequency for Brighton right there, and I can just hit tune comp, and what that does, it puts it in a standby here, and then I just hit this button to bring it up to the active frequency super easy. I can also dial the frequency in with here, but this is kind of an easier way to do it. It's got runway 422. It's 3,105 feet long. It's only 24 feet wide. You'll see it's got a really skinny runway here at Bright. It also tells me out here the elevation, 973 feet. So I can kind of get an idea. It says traffic pattern altitude 2,000. Just all kinds of information is on this dyno. Right now on the descent, I have the power at 2280, I'm burning four gallons an hour, doing 83 knots again. And 500 feet a minute on the descent. 
legs are still frozen. I bet that ice is probably getting pretty thin right now, though. We've had some pretty warm weather. There's a house down there now that I actually looked at years ago that I was going to move to. Uh, but my realtor said the house was just overpriced. And I remember, like, the, the hangar door was crooked or something on it, too. So between that and all the windows on the house needed replaced. So I, I wound up not buying the house. Which I'm glad because I like where I live a little bit better. Bright traffic, so my Delta turn and final for 2 2. Bright. This will be a low approach only. There's our 24 foot wide runway. Right, traffic seven by Delta, part of two two, headed uh, northbound. Right. All right, we'll get back to my seventy knots here for the climb. I'm doing. Uh, right now, it's saying six hundred feet a minute, eight hundred feet a minute right now. Actually, it's going up and down. There's nine hundred. Buzz McGarry, traffic seven number one four four zero. Go back. Coming into the final on one eight. Three six. All right, we'll level off here at 2,500, and now let's do uh, let's do 2,800 RPM. That's the max continuous on here. So if I was really in a hurry to go somewhere, that's what I would fly at. We'll see what I get here for speed. I'll let it stabilize a little bit. All right, here's 2,600 feet. I got 2770 on the RPM, 92 knots, indicated 98 true, fuel burn 4.9. Seems like my fuel burn is always like 4.4 .4 to 4.9. It's somewhere in there, no matter what I do with the power. 95 knots, there's 95. So we're kind of stable now. I'd say about 95 knots at 2780 RPM, 4.9 gallons per hour. Now, sometimes I'll bring it all the way back to, like, 23 if I'm just kind of, you know, sightseeing and killing some time. Let's see if I can get it in 23. There's 2310. Now, 2310. Actually, it's at 2250 right now. 77 knots, 4 gallons an hour. So that's pretty low, 4 gallons an hour. Let me see if I can get it. It's 2210. Let me get that back to 2300. All right, there, there's 23, 20. You know, the one thing I've noticed with the digital tachometers is they're so precise. It's If you want exactly 2300, it's almost impossible to get it. Just loosening the friction knob on the throttle, by the time I get the friction knob tight, it'll move 20 or 30 RPM. Which on an analog gauge, you probably really wouldn't really notice, but. So I'm at 2330 RPM right now. I'm descending a little bit, so that'll, that's cheating. Let me get back to level here. All right, uh, vertical speed indicator is zero, 72 knots, 76 true, and 4.1 gallons an hour. So this is what I'll do sometimes if I'm just out sightseeing, just kind of like tonight. I'm not in any hurry to go anywhere, and I'm just out playing around, enjoying the evening or the morning. About 2,300 RPM, I burn 4.1 gallons an hour, and I'm cruising around here right now at 75 knots. So I'm gonna bring this up a little bit to about 2,600 just for the flight back. There's 20, ooh, 2,600 exactly. Right now showing 82 knots. 
84, 4.7 gallons per hour, 85, 86 knots. It's getting pretty, it's about leveled out there, so 86 knots, that's 91 true. All right, now I just follow Route 23 here, right up to uh, my airport. I'll go direct, recent, nine, golf, two, hit direct again, that takes me right on home. Yeah, it's always a good time for a steep turn. There's 45 degrees, 25, oh man, my altitude is just nailed. 25-20, the whole, oops, now I'm going down a little bit. <laughs> First half of that was pretty good. There's 25-20 again, get the bank back in there. You guys have never flown a Zenith, a high wing Zenith, you gotta get a ride in one and see this visibility. Especially at a 45 degree bank turn, man. It's like flying a low wing airplane, it's just, it's all sky. All right, there's 45 degrees of bang. I got some left rudder in there. I am descending a little bit, so I had a little more back pressure. Fun stuff. You know, I thought this G meter was supposed to pop up at a certain G or something. I wonder if I have that set or... Maybe it's at two G's or something, the G meter, or three G's, I don't remember. I thought there was supposed to be a G meter that pops up on here, but maybe I'm wrong. Praise, traffic, seven eight Delta, turn and final, two seven, praise. Living County Diamond, four seven eight Delta, Charlie, final, three one, living. Switch fuel tank. Praise traffic, so make you to turn in crosswind 27. There's the county, 595 call, we must be 31. Head right on back up the pattern altitude here. Now they scared all the deer and the fox and the rabbits and the birds away. Fresh driving seven eight down left down one two seven price. Thank you, guy. Traffic Cessna there's the uniform is left down with four three one let me see. Got a little crosswind from the right. It's almost straight down the runway. Well, I flew once yesterday. I flew twice today. Guess how many times Brian flew? Uh, Skyline 6285. We're, uh, Not a once. We're downwind for runway 29. Lots of traffic. Brian, you should just sell your plane. <laughs> 